good afternoon, folks. We're live from a top secret location here today, this Easter holiday weekend here. So hope you're having a great 8th of April here. Um, a lot to talk about here today. This past week, we spoke with the Allergy and Asthma Network folks. Uh, they have about 80 million sufferers uh, that they support. Again, so if you suffer from these ailments, you're not going to like our forecast here because it's uh, pretty bad here the next couple of weeks. One of the things we talked about that have uh, an impact to some extent on uh, asthma and allergy suffering is uh, wildfires. The good news on that front is that uh, right now, as of uh, end of April here, we're April 1st, we're 78% uh, below average. So because of the really wet start here to the season, fires are way below average, uh, again, about 78%. Uh, we're projecting here they're going to be about 20% below average. Um, so again, a lot of these trees, at least the high you know, timber uh, trees, will be full of moisture. And so that tends to suppress the fire activity. So nothing like we had in 2020, when we had about 10.1 million acres burned. Uh, this year we're projecting somewhere around 5.7 million acres burned. Again, more grass and grass and brush fires. We uh, new product here we have actually to help uh, with this regard is uh, again a wildfire risk uh, index, if you will. So uh, we do think it's going to get pretty. Uh, this is showing you the humidity levels here. So. Uh, definitely next week, uh, later part of next week, Wednesday, Thursday in the southwest, definitely could have some risk, uh, higher risk for some wildfire, brush fires. Again, more of the brush uh, as opposed to uh, timber because of all the moisture we have that would uh, be in the trees uh, this time of year. Uh, dry to drought phases uh, continues to go down a bit. Again, we peaked at 82 percent back on the 1st of November with the country uh, dry to drought phases. We're at 52 uh, percent right now, about average is 48 percent, so not too far off average. And as we go through the next couple of months, this will actually probably dip below average, meaning most of the country is uh, more moist than drought. If we look at uh, snow cover here this morning, still very high for this time of year. So here as of this morning, 24% of the country still has snow on the ground, which is, uh, again, average is about 13, so almost twice as much as we should have. Again, so a lot of snow still there in the high elevations of the Rockies, the Upper Plains, Midwest, I mean, just at New England. Uh, again, last year, only about 9% uh, snow on the ground. If we look at uh, snow season to date here, through the 8th of April here, about 24% of the country has more snow than last year, 4% below average, most in four years, 19th least in 38 years. So we made a lot of headway here here with the March and April time frames because we were training the least in a decade. And again, so now we're going to end up the most in four years, just a hair below average. Uh, next year, we'd be projecting a, a uh, probably the snowiest since uh, 13, 14. So again, uh, early outlook here is a, a very snowy winter ahead here. Uh, December, mid-December hung on to its top spot here, so that was definitely the snowiest week of winter. Hard to believe the weekend in the 17th was the top spot, uh, late January the second spot, and late February the third spot, and number four was the week of Christmas, right before Christmas there. So again, um, snowy end here that helped push our totals above for the season. We look at uh, tornadoes here real quick here. Um, they're off to a torrid pace as well. 478 tornadoes, uh, 108 added this past week alone, so we're 90% 90, 90 above average. 30% more than last year, uh, most in six years, top 1% of history. So we're on a torrid pace here. Uh, we may get a little lull here here over the next week or so. So uh, again, we need it uh, after this extremely fast start. Looking at last week here, again, weekending here today, uh, the 8th of April here, here in the U.S., uh, just a hair warmer than last year, 0.1 warmer. Still 16th colds in 38 years, below average. 13% drier than last year. Uh, still uh, wettest in uh, 38 years, so above average uh, rainfall. Snowfall way up 398% more than last year, most in four years, uh, ninth most in 38 years, so above average there. Real cold up in Canada, colds in 25 years, third coldest in 38 years. So very cold here across North America, even Eastern Europe, pretty cold. Uh, again, in maps inside left are the trends versus average. We're showing some um, little girl here playing with the uh, dandelions here again. Unfortunately, uh, tis the season. If your allergies haven't kicked in yet, they certainly will here um, this week again with the U.S. Uh, trending a, a good 6.2 warmer than last year, warmest in 17 years, third warmest in 38 years, so way above average temperatures across the country. 56% uh, drier than last year, driest in 15 years, fifth driest in 38 years. So warm and dry, uh, tis the season. This will definitely be a huge surge in allergy and asthma suffering here this week. So again, uh, get ready. Again, stay on top. Always good to be taking uh, any medicines before you have your ailments uh, a little bit too late after the fact. Next week, we've got a little bit more of the same here. Again, it looks like uh, U.S. about 4.2 warmer than last year, warmest in four years, 11th warmest in 38 years, or above average again. Still dry. Uh, we'll see about this. If it's uh, about 49% drier than last year, dries in 22 years, fifth dries in 38 years. So warm dry keeps that pollen in the air longer, uh, suspends it in the air. You're more likely to be exposed to it and, uh, again, more suffering. So. Um, 
Again, it is the season here. If we look at the World Two-Week Outlook here, winning, uh, ending 22 April here across the U.S., yeah, a big change across Canada and the U.S. Again, much warmer temperatures. This map now is uh, trends versus uh, versus average. Again, uh, even Europe warming up. So again, a warmer trend here. World had been on a kind of a cold period here, but uh, warming up for sure. Uh, cold spots will be there in Siberia and Russia and Alaska, probably where it belongs this time of year. So that, folks, we hope you have a great week, a great Easter holiday weekend here, and uh, we will be back uh, talking to you next time, next week. See ya. Thank mm-hmm. you.